Let us begin with a simple explanation of the class trial, so that way your votes can determine the results. During the trial, you guys will participate in a number of debates, and you guys will argue on who you think done it. If you guess the black and correctly, and they will, well, yeah, if you guess the black and correctly, only they will receive punishment. But if you guess the wrong person, I will punish everyone besides the blackened. And that person will have the right to be unquarantined from this house. Have any questions before we begin? Uh, I do. What's this thing next to me? Oh, that. That would have been poor little Kirby seat if he was still here today. But I didn't want to leave his seat, you know, empty. So, I made that within five seconds. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? You think this is some joke or some game? Actually, it is a game. Oh, God, I never thought I'd be in this freaking courtroom. <sighs> Whatever. You, does anyone else have any other questions before we start the trial? Oh, I do. Oh, yes, little pop sensation. Accomplices. Can there be accomplices in a case? That's actually a pretty good question. Knowing that if there could be accomplices or not will determine be a big factor in determining the culprit in this case. And you asked, and so I shall answer. There can be accomplices, but in theory. Huh? In theory? So there can be accomplices? But he's in theory tales. What does that mean? What it basically means is that no one would gain anything from accomplishing each other. For example, if one person was to um, make a plan to murder but didn't carry it out themselves, they would not be considered the blackened. Only the person who would have did the killing would be considered the blackened. I see. Let's say, for example, I was a killer. I made a plan to kill someone, and I had Toadette do it. Toadette would be considered the blackened, and I would get off scot free, but I wouldn't get to leave. Okay, so I get it. So basically, we gain nothing from teaming up. Huh? Donkey Kong would have loved it if all of us could escape. Are you saying you want to commit murder? No, no, no! It's just Donkey Kong just doesn't want to be here. Donkey Kong doesn't even know how much help he'll be, because Donkey Kong isn't that smart. Don't say that, Donkey Kong! We're probably gonna need as much help as we can! So, come on! Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 whatever. Let's get this trial started already. I want to get out of here as soon as possible. For once, we can actually agree on stick to that. I want to get out of here as soon as possible, too. All right, then. So, um, shall we get started? Let's get started. So, what do we know about the case so far? I believe this is my area of expertise. According to the Monokuma file, um, Kirby died at around 10 p.m. last night and 10, around 8.15 in the morning today. 17... I mean, you mean seven? Yeah. Additionally, he did sustain two weapons. I mean, two, two injuries. But there isn't an actual cause of death listed. That's all I can say. Wait a minute! I know who the killer is! Knuckles? It obviously has to be either Toad, Susie, or Yoshi! The hell you just say about me? No, what? What? Hey! Why are you making that assumption? Let's discuss that before you go do anything crazy! Yoshi, Susie, and, to and Toad were the first to discover the body, is that correct? Yeah, I believe so. So that means they knew who the body was in the first place, which means one of them is the killer! Is that really all your evidence? There's something that can actually prove our, all three of our innocence. What? Something like that doesn't exist? No! That's wrong! Knuckles, you're wrong! The body discovery announcement proves all three of our innocence. Huh? You mean that weird announcement? Precisely! I got an explanation from Monica and myself! He said the first three people to discover the body will trigger the body discovery announcement. And those three have to be not the blackened. Because the blackened doesn't count towards the body discovery announcement. I see. So, you, um, Slave Master over here and Mushroom Bitch can't be the culprit because you triggered the body discovery announcement. Okay. Wait, who's Slave Master? I'm the slave. Wait, I thought you said you weren't a slave. Shut up! And what'd you call me? None of your business. Go back to your seat. Um. Okay, well, now that we can, that we can definitely prove that both Susie, Tail, um, Toad, and Yoshi are safe, Knuckles. I'm sorry. 
We now have to discuss on something else. What were Cur Kirby's injuries? Ah, yes, I guess I should have said that. Er Kirby's injuries consisted of a small entry wound, stab wound, and what looked like to be a fracture into the inside of the skull in reason of blunt force trauma. However, uh, those were actually done around the same time, so I can't really tell whether or not which one was infected first, or what killed him. I see, so we're out of luck. I guess I would never- I never thought I would say something like that. Hmm. Well, I guess we are. Hey, Elijah, can I ask something? Can you tell which wounds were which? Oh, I can definitely not answer that. The smallest wound was the stab wound, and the biggest wound was the head for one force trauma. Hmm, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I don't know. Are you sure? I'm sure. Well, then it's settled. Then that means Curry's cause of death was blood force trauma! The injury that induced blunt force trauma was the biggest injury, right? According to my medical autopsy, yes. Well, then it's obvious that that's the cause of death. Are you sure? Because I personally think he was stabbed, and that stabbing is truly the cause of death. I agree with that. I agree with Kelly. I honestly think the stabbing was the cause of death. Remember, bigger isn't always the right answer. True, but how would that be the case? Well, if you give me a to explain. I, this is my selfish devotion. Oh, ow. Told you, Nick, but why'd you call me do that? I'm sorry, Yoshi, but there's a big contradiction. There's no way that that stop was gonna be what killed Kirby. Well then, who the fuck you about it? The stab wound was the thing that killed Kirby? But don't you think it was a little bigger? Huh? Just because the button for Chama wound was big, it doesn't mean that was killed that was what killed Kirby. Remember, that was the rope! So kill Kirby easily have pulled the rope in from above the gouge and and banged Kirby into the wall. But still, that would mean there's a statue. What do you say? The culprit tied thing to the the weapon to the wall or something? Yes, and there's something that proves it. The tape on the wall. That proves that the mur the murder weapon was probably taped onto the wall and the murderer pulled in a chair and leaned Kirby towards it, killing him! Ah! Oh, you see Toad? Ow! Ow! Ow. <sighs> I guess that's alright. Uh, I'm sorry. It's fine. But I'm still not convinced. Can you always draw me something like that? Yeah, I don't get it. What do you mean the culprit pulled in the chair? Oh, I have a piece of paper right here, and a marker. Hold on. Oh, thanks, Susie. Hold on. Let me draw something real quick. This is probably how the culprit did it, alright? Here it is. Not for representation of problem. What happened? The culprit was up here, with the rope tied around the chair. And then, they pulled it in, with Curry right here at the right time, with the weapon taped onto the wall. May I see that? Now that you make it, now that I'm looking at this, and comparing it to the crime scene, that definitely makes the most amount of sense. Alright, well now that we know what killed Kirby, we need to figure out specifically what killed Kirby. What do you mean? I think the Green Downs was talking about the murder weapon. Good point. We do have, we do know what specifically Kirby's cause of death was, but we don't know what was used to inflict that cause of death. Uh, save it, Knuckles. You're probably just gonna say, oh, someone punched him with a knife. No! Anymore. What I don't get is why the killer would go through this such lengths if a simple stab wound would have done it. They probably did to avoid getting blood on themselves. Huh? I mean, the water shuts off at around 10, right? Oh yeah, I forgot. A stupid rule. Hey, don't judge my rules. So, they couldn't, they couldn't have washed it off. So, it's possible that... Hmm. They did that to, you know, um, avoid getting blood on themselves and avoid having to wash himself down with like a dry towel. Yeah, I get- okay, fine, I guess you're right. <sighs> well, let's stop talking about what killed Kirby for now. Let's talk about everyone's alibis and what we investigated. Good plan. Um, well, I guess I should start. I was probably the last one to leave the kitchen at around, say, 9.30 last night. I can assume most of us were in our room. Precisely. Wait, 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 wait! I had an idea who the culprit is! Oh my god, Knuckles, it's probably wrong! No, listen to me! It's Marie! Are you serious? Knuckles, just shut up! No, 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 no! Jeez, listen to me one more time! Fine, so why is Marie the culprit? Well, allow me to explain.
Marie has to be the culprit, and I know why! What is it this time, Knuckles? You see, she admitted that she goes out every night at around 9.30 or 10 p.m. at night to do her nighttime singing. 10 p.m. is around the, the time the crime was committed. Did you truly go out at that time, Marie? Yes, but when I, I walked by the kitchen, there was no body there, let alone the chair knocked down. No, Knuckles, this contradiction seems a little bit wrong. No, it's right, I promise. Were there any witnesses that saw her? I agree with that. Yep, I agree. There was a witness that saw her. Wait, really? Who was that witness? It was Kamasan. Marie said she felt so and just um, watched her. But then, um, Marie, was that all night? I think it was, but maybe it was just my imagination the first time. Amazon. You said you were outside with Marie. Yeah, but you didn't see me though. Behind behind that big box because I was so scared. I need some not some air. And oh my god, I was just so scared. And this killing game on my swirls. Calm down, Kuma son. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hmm. Okay, I can believe that for now. Kelly, what do you say? You're thinking of the culprit? No, 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 no. Of course not, Marie. But you know, it seems a little suspicious. All right. Well, did anyone find anything while investigating? Aside from a couple of junk items and some stuff like that, we didn't really find anything. Yep, this was. Oh, wait, that's right! I didn't mean to ask you! Put it to you! No, we. Hey, Toda, why are you lying? Wait, lying? Toda? What did you find? We found nothing. Right, you idiot? No, don't, she's lying! We found this. Hold on, it was stuck behind couch. Let me pull it out. Don't you damn idiot! Shut up, you lying! We found this! Oh, that is what we call a bloody knife! Why were you trying to hide that fact, Toadette? I... I... Did we already find the killer? Wait, what do you mean? Hmm... Let me think... Why would Toadette be afraid of the knife? Ah! Uh, oh! Ow! Oh, where am I? Hello there! I am the Hangman! And I want to... Hello, hello there, Dirty Ragman! I am not the Dirty Rag! You are a hand! Uh, anyway, uh, yes, it is I, the Hangman. You shall play some Hangman. And, uh, yes, so why was Toadette scared of the knife, and why would she think about hiding it? Alright, uh, what do you do? I will write it as you do it. Wait, don't worry about your cloak. I need to write, okay? So shut the damn hell up. Alright, first letter. Uh, maybe, um... Okay, hold on. Oh, yes, 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 there is an M. Yes, you are very lucky, good sir. Maybe a U? You are wrong. Maybe a... An E? There are some E's! Hold on, let me write them. Yes, there is two E's. Ooh. Uh, I'm gonna go for... Oh! Yes, why do you even solve it in M? You should have solved your vowels, but there are a few O's. Ooh. I'm going to a vowel. Um, a? Uh, yes, there is an A. Okay, vowels, so now let me go on the... Stop getting gold, but you're correct. All right, come on, uh, you. Oh, what a surprise! You got it wrong. Ooh, what's the body? Your second try. I'm right-handed, okay? And the the view, the freaking cameraman is using his right hand to do the camera. Stop bringing the wall to the wall. The, guess the next weapon. Did you just say weapon? You gave away the word, didn't you? Weapon's the bottom word. Okay, look, I might have gotten given away the bottom word, but I'm not going to give away the first word. Oh, let me guess. V? Uh. Yes. Alright, uh, how about you? You already said you. Yes, you got one on it. Gee, it's motive weapon. Don't screw you. Uh, well, I guess I got a job to do, so we'll just finish that. There, motive weapon. I hope you die. I hope you get it wrong. Ooh, I'm going to, I'm going to disappear back into the abyss. Ooh. I really hope I never see him again. But anyway, motive weapon. That's it. Ah, uh, Monokuma, yes, he's been sleeping for quite a while now. Uh, just wake him up. Um, yes, I got it. That was quick. The reason why Toadette's so scared of that, the knife, is because of the motive weapon! Wait, are you saying Toadette's motive weapon was a knife? But that, how 
didn't even know that. There is no way to prove that my motive weapon was a knife. Actually, there is. Hold on. I believe this can shed some more into this situation. What the hell is that? I believe I told each of you to come into your room and unlock your safe, except for Yoshi and Toadette. And one other student. That's because I specifically asked Monokuma to help me with those two specific people. Yeah, doodle. But anyway, if you look here, you'll see why Tadette's so scared. What? Susie, are you sure all these weapons are accurate? Yes, they are. I even have Monokuma as a witness to, sh to sh see if they're all true. Yep, they, whatever she wrote down there is definitely the truth. Okay. Here are the weapons. And also, I read this, Susie. You need to work on your spelling. Shut up. Well, would you look at that? Toadette's weapon is a knife. Like the knife right here? Well, then that tells that Toadette is the killer. What? No, you idiot! I'm not the killer! But all the evidence points to you! Oh, ha ha ha! Yeah, like a knife proves anything! Proves that I'm not the killer! This isn't even the type of knife that was in my damn freaking safe! Wait, what? Although you're admitting that, you now just admit you did have a knife in your safe! There's no doubt, Toadette is culprit! I... I don't want to believe Toadette's culprit, but... No! Guys, come on! Toadette isn't the culprit! I believe in her! I know you have this whole lovey-dovey shit going on, but this doesn't... It doesn't fit in a class trial. Yeah, she is definitely the culprit, no matter how you look at this. You guys don't believe me, but don't worry! I know she isn't the culprit! And what evidence do you have? Evidence? None! What? It's just a hunch I got. A hunch! You're basing all of our lives on a hunch. I mean... I don't want to be mean to Toadette, but I still think she might be the culprit. Mm, I don't know, I'm sorry to actually reconsider. Yeah, me too. What? It's obvious she's the culprit. In fact, I'll prove that this weapon would have killed um, Kirby. Wash it off, please, when I come up. You ruined my picture, I don't think I will. Do it! Alright, fine. You can ruin my death portrait, I worked five minutes on this. Ow! Sorry, paintbrush. Alright, let me go wash this off. Poo hoo hoo. All right, it's all squeaky clean. Now what do you want, boing? Simple. Come here. Yoshi, come here. Wait, what are you? Ouch! Oh, wait. Don't oh, want you stop. Wait. Huh? Wait, why am I, why am I good? Feel the tip of the knife. Wait. It's dull. What? Wait, if the knife is dull, then why? Hold on, what you, what's happening here? See, this knife can't be the murder weapon because it's too dull. This knife is specifically used for eating food, not for stabbing things. It, and it's barely good as a cutting knife. Look, I can't even hurt myself with it. So this knife can't be the murder weapon. It barely even drew blood. Well, my guess is the killer probably took it this from the kitchen and then smeared it in Kirby's blood and then put it behind the cow- the, the- the- the couch to frame Tanette. Okay, well now that we're up to the, the knife, Susie, what is this type of knife that was in Susie's locker? I was gonna say it, but that isn't. The one she had had a, had a black handle. That, that one had a red one. It did? Those are the knives I see in the kitchen. Those could definitely stab. But if this knife was used to frame Tanette, that means she can't be the culprit. My hunch was right! I don't know. Is there any other evidence that can prove that why Toadette isn't the killer? And how a knife couldn't have done it? I mean, she could have easily have just put it back in her locker. But the locker wasn't bloody. She could have washed it, but the water shuts off at 10, you idiot. Actually, there is a leisure. Huh? Can you repeat? How big was the stab wound? Um, if I do recall, it was about 5 millimeters in diameter. Wait. Five millimeters in diameter? That's way skinnier than a normal knife! Precisely. That's why I start to reconsider that Toadette was the culprit. If a dull knife was used... Yeah, if a regular knife was used, it would have at least left an inch, or yeah, even a two-inch gap. But that entry room was so small and skinny, I don't think it was a knife. Still, she could have used another weapon and then used the knife. I still think Toadette culprit. I'm not the culprit, you idiot! No, the Toadette's not the culprit! No, she is! No, she isn't! No, no, yes, no, no! 
thrills, kills, and chills. It's time for my favorite part of the trial, the scrum debate. Okay, everyone, here's how this scrum debate will work. Boy, you guys will go on to each side and debate who do you think is right. Go on to this side if you think Toadette is the killer, and go on to this side if you think she isn't. Poo-hoo, boy. Yoshi! Susie. Toad! Toadette! Tally! Elijah! Amy! Tail! Paintbrush! Sonic! Donkey Kong! Kala Sound! Knuckles! Marie! Tuspin! Without a doubt, Toadette is the killer! Toad! We just proved that the knife couldn't be the murder weapon! So what? Then she used a different knife! Elijah! A knife is the murder weapon! It's proved by my autopsy report that the weapon was 5 millimeters in diameter! What if Susie and Toadette are lying about the murder weapon? Susie! I just said I had Manakuma as a witness. That proves it's true. She could have easily have slipped out at night. True! Did anyone actually see her go out at night? Then why would she so adamant about having a cat hiding the night? Toadette! It's because you all would think I was the culprit. But Toadette could still be lying! Why can't they? With no words alive if we talk this through! This is our answer!